Okay, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to demonstrate laying out a square foundation, um, a rectangle with square corners using batter boards, tape measures, and uh, strings. Uh, this is supposed to be a sim that represents how you would actually do this if you were in the field and you needed to lay out something. Um, I'm going to go through this from the from the um, from like the it's kind of like the hardest challenge in this sim that that's a, that's possible. Well, I don't know the hardest challenge possible, but it's one of the harder challenges. So we're going to start here, and then we'll talk about how we can make it easier and step a student or a uh, a, a user through this in a more uh, um, I don't know <laughs> not so not so much throwing them right into the deep end. So this is right into the deep end. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click mount. Um, this is the sandbox, uh, so you kind of have to use a little imagination. This is a slide type or a slide app, which means that you would actually embed whatever I'm building right now. You would you would create this in a in our player, and it would be within a bun a series of of slides. So before what I'm showing here, you could have a video that explains how to do things, or some text, or whatever else, some some other easier versions of this sim to ease a student into this final version. I'm going to start in a brand new state. And um, so this is a, what we would call a free play state, meaning there's no challenge. And uh, there's, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a description. Uh, this isn't important for the sim, but we're going to say lay out a rectangle. And then we're going to set the challenge to be a rectangle. And you see now We've got as an author, I can so I'm authoring the slide here. I'm not I'm not the student. I am the subject matter expert creating this slide, and uh, I'm making a very simple slide that is the full layout uh, challenge. So we're going to do a rectangle. Let's do a width of uh, six feet by eight feet, kind of like a little shed maybe. So we're going to lay out a rectangle that's six feet by eight feet. All right, I'm going to hit save. So now this is the the authoring is done. That was the, the extent of the authoring for this particular challenge. Uh, I didn't put anything up. I didn't set anything up. As an author, I could set up the scene as much as I want. I could give the student everything except for one string being out of square. But in this one, we're just going to run through a full on. All right, I'm a student. This is uh, I'm a, I'm expecting the student to have been through a few of these easier versions at this point. But uh, you can see what they. What they get presented with is this thing that says lay out a, a rectangle. That was the text I wrote into that thing. And then you can see there must be, oh, I should, side note, little improvement I could do is uh, I don't have it. The student doesn't see what the size is. Um, what did I say? Six by eight. Mm, make a note. <laughs> okay, we'll improve on that. They should know. Right now I have some feedback saying there must be, four strings before you could submit and the submit button is inactive. So, uh, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be submitting. So <laughs> there's your problem. Uh, okay. So anyways, um, quick tool, uh, tour of the tour tools. These, this is your tool list. This really defines what happens when you left click and drag. So right now, if I left click and drag it, um, orbits, if I come over here and I left click and drag it pans, if I come here, left click and drag, it zooms on wherever I'm, I'm, uh, I'm zooming on. And then you'll notice that we don't, we can't do a tape measure yet, but that's because we don't have anything to attach a tape measure to. We can add a batter board. We cannot add a string, because again, you need two batter boards to add strings, because you run a string between the batter boards. And there's nothing to, do, to delete at this point, so the delete button is inactive. Quick note, we can also do navigation without selecting the tool. So if I, let's see, if I right click with my mouse and I, and I drag, it doesn't matter what the tool is, you can see I'm still orbiting. If I middle click with the mouse and drag, doesn't matter what the tool is, I'm dragging. And then the roll uh, zooms us in and out. All right, so let's get started. We're supposed to be laying out a square, a rectangle that is uh, six foot by eight foot. The, you'll notice that uh, our, our stage is round. And that's to really make it to um, to not give any indication of an x y coordinate because in the real world, when you're standing in a field, you don't have an x y coordinate. You might have a compass, <laughs> but that's and you might be able to look and say, "Oh, the road's over there." But you don't you don't necessarily have that strong x y coordinate system. So, doesn't matter which way is the six foot and which way is the eight foot. 
It's up to us however we want to lay that out. So let's just go ahead and add up some, let's add a batter board. So I'm going to rotate this around. I'm going to put the batter board right around there. So now you can see I've added a batter board. And what I'm going to do is I'm just, I mean, I'm just going to put this batter board. I'm just going to visually see, ah, we're going to, we're going to say this is going to be the bottom corner, the left, right version of this batter board. So let's put that right there. Yeah. So we're going to start with kind of the bottom side of this rectangle. Let's actually slide it down just a little bit. All right, I'm going to grab a tape measure now. You'll notice the tape measure tool became active because we have something to hook it to. Delete tool also became active. If I wanted to delete this batter board, I could. All right, I'm going to do the long distance first. So we're going to go eight foot across the bottom <clears throat> for this rectangle. So I know my batter boards need to be set back uh, about a foot. So I'm going to drag out a tape 10 feet wide, and I'll put my other batter board visually 10 feet away from this guy. So let's see. I can zoom in. What is this? Is this 10 foot? Hey, there's 10 foot right there. So I know that little mark right there is 10 foot. So let's throw this batter board in here, rotate it around, get it kind of squared up visually. Yeah, that looks about, what is that, parallel with the other one. And let's zoom in and get it right on 10 feet. All right. So there are our two, this is the bottom side of our batter board. Okay. Oops, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to delete this tape measure for now. Let's set up another batter board. We're going to, we're going to create our L. I'm not sure like how professionals do this. Um, <laughs> watched several YouTube videos, and the intent is uh, professionals can do it a lot of ways. But this is how I've kind of stumbled across doing it. So I'm going to add another batter board. I'm going to rotate this around this way, and we're going to get this nice and close to this. So let's zoom in right here, and we'll just... Put those right in there. That's kind of how you would do this in the real world. And again, I'm going to visually drag out a tape. Well, I'm going to drag out a tape. This direction is only, what did we say? We're doing a 8 by 6. So this we need to only go, we need to go, we want to add a foot for each batter board. So we want to go 8 feet this way. So let's drag a tape measure out this way. Kind of visually perpendicular. We want it to be about, we want to rough in these guys, at least in the right zone. All right, so we want this to be eight foot away, which I believe is right. There's eight feet. So that's this tick right here. So let's add a batter board right here and orient it about with our tape. Yeah, there's eight feet away approximately. All right, now we've got enough to lay out a corner. So here's how I kind of like to do this. Uh, I like to, let's delete this tape measure real quick. Okay, so what I like to do is, let, well, first off note, we've got a string tool. String tool becomes enabled as soon as you have two batter boards. So we had, so what we can do now is the way is you add a string is you can click on a batter board and drag to another batter board. So there's the string, and then let's add this string right here. Okay. Now, I think, I think the way I'm going to do this, this is how I've been doing this, this challenge is, I want to kind of get these two strings locked in. I want to get these to be a 90 degree corner. <clears throat> so how do I do that? How do I get these strings? You'll notice my interaction with the strings is I can essentially drag them up and down uh, the batter board to which they are attached. And, um, and as you can imagine, that's going to change the angle. Well, I want this angle to be 90 degrees. So how do I do that? Well, We'll use the three, four, five rule to kind of line up this particular, this particular um, corner. So I'm going to grab a tape measure. <clears throat> I didn't really talk to the tape measure. The tape measure, the way it works is, you can see uh, when I get close to something, it pops up a little yellow uh, indicator. That tells me I can add a tape measure starting at this point. Now I can add them to a batter board. I can add them along a string like this. And if I get close enough to a corner, it'll snap it to a corner. And so I can add it to a corner. So I'm going to use the 3, 4, 5 rule to line up this, to get these two strings to be perpendicular to each other. So what I'll do is I'll drag this out here. And I'm looking for a, multi, a big multiplier that's either 3 or a 4. Let's go, let's see, this is our longest side. So 3 times... Well, no, I want to go four. Let's go four on this side. So let's go with the 80. 80 is a good four. Wait, do we have... Actually, let's go eight feet. That's a nice one. So I'm looking for a, a multiplier. For, I won't get into a three, four, five rule. That's a, that's a different one. 
Uh, but three, four, five, I'm looking for a multiplier of four, and eight feet is one of those. So I'm going to add a tape measure coming off here. And let's just zoom in here and get this tape measure to be nice and lined up with the eight foot mark right there. So there we go. That's the eight foot. So then we're going to drag this tape measure over to here. And we know if this is eight foot across here, we know that this side of this triangle needs to be six foot. And we know that this side of the triangle needs to be 10 foot. So 10 foot is 120 inches. Let's go ahead and rough this in. Uh, side note, when a tape measure crosses a string that it's not connected to, so that like this corner won't cross. Yeah, when it crosses the string it's not connected to, you see we get a little nice little label here that tells us where we're intersecting. That just helps us see it. Well, we know we want to cross this string at around 120 inches. Hey, right there. So as long as from here to here is um, six feet, we're good to go. That's perpendicular. Chances that it's perpendicular are not that great. Ah, we can see. All right, so there is, let's go over to our, okay, so there is our, six foot is right here. So what we need to do is we need to grab these two tape measures and kind of wiggle them around. Let's bring them so we can see everything. What we need to do is we need to get, see this, this 120 foot or uh, 10 foot. We need to swing these two tape measures around until this point right here matches this point right here. All right, so this is how you do it. Actually, we're really close. Zoom in on this. Hey, <laughs> that was about as good as I've ever done. All right, so now we know that these tapes are forming a triangle, uh, a 90 degree corner down here. So now what we can do is we can flip over to our string tool and align our string tool with this tape measure. And actually where that cross, if we assume those tapes are good, oh, that's pretty close. It's a 16th off. Maybe I can get just a touch. It's, let's drag this guy first so I can see it. Ah, we're gonna call that one good. 16th off is not bad for a 10 foot span. All right, so now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna delete these tapes because we do not, well, that's a batter, but I don't want to delete that. Oh, this is getting a little cluttered in here, huh? Uh, which one is my tape? This one and this one. All right, cool. Let's delete this tape measure too. Shoot, I don't want to do That's interesting. I, I should figure out a way to do that a little cleaner. Okay, so now we've got a 90 degree corner. <clears throat> we're not going to touch these strings anymore. Everything else is going to come off of these strings. So we're going to leave these strings alone. But what we can do now is we can start to figure out our other two sides of this, of this, um, corner of this thing, <laughs> of this thing, of this, um, I'm just thinking here for a second. Yeah. We're going to figure out the other two sides of this triangle of this, of this, of this layout. So let's throw in some more batter boards. So put this over here. Put one down here like this. And we're going to put one up here like this. This one, and we don't know very well. Let's see, we're just going to eyeball this guy in. And we're going to put another one in like this. All right, so there we go. Okay, oops, I don't want this guy. So let's delete this batter board. Okay. Now, let's add a string. We're just gonna add two more strings in here. So we'll, again, we'll go to our string tool, drag them, finish them off roughly. We know they're gonna go across these guys. All right, so first things we can do, first thing we can do is let's set up, let's grab our tape measure and let's get this string to be really close to, um, let's see, we're doing eight foot this way. So what is that, 96 inches? Hey, we're a half inch off, cool. And then we're gonna also, well, no, let's just do this one string. So string, 96 inches. So let's grab this and we'll drag this till it's, oh, that's really close, 16th. Ah, there we go, perfect, 96 inches. So this is eight feet across here. And then uh, let's grab our tape measure and let's drag it up to here and do this side as well. So you can see we're crossing there. What is that? 
six feet is what we're shooting for so that's what 72 so let's switch over to our string tool and we'll drag this down till it's 72 all right great so now these corners are pretty good they'll get moved a little bit when we adjust these guys but uh, we we now have an eight uh, we got six feet on this side and eight feet on this side now the next thing we can do is we can square this up by measuring diagonals so let's see we're gonna need two tape measures to do this so here's a little bit of a tricky thing that <clears throat> have not addressed yet we are getting uh, this, this this you'll notice that this tape measure is technically draw, crossing two strings so we get two measurements what we want to see is uh, where it crosses this corner and it's a little bit of a bummer because you get double feedback but that's okay so right now we are let's see three quarters and eleven sixteenths okay so that's what a sixteenth off that's just we're just barely off we're a sixteenth off of the intersection so we're right around uh, one seven well we don't care about this one we don't know about that one so let's flip, let's put a tape measure in across this guy get them nice and close and what we're trying to get these two okay so five okay so this looks like you know let's split the gap it's going to be probably around what three quarter 19 and 19 and three quarter it's really close that's close enough okay so we know from this now that what do we know this we know that this side is is correct well, yeah, 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 we know that because we know that this is a 90 degree corner. So what we know is we need our corner over here to essentially be 119 and uh, 3 quarter is what we're shooting for. So let's flip over to our strings and let's adjust these guys. So we need to go a little bigger, it looks like. 119. Nineteen and 3 eighths. 119 and 7 eighths. Let's drop that down. 3 quarter. 16th there we go let's even get this guy to be there wait a second okay so things have moved a little bit <clears throat> and that's part of this so as a student you'll need to learn you know that these things get tweaked around a little bit so let's make sure that our bottoms are right again so actually I'm just gonna grab this guy and come back down here and you can see we're now a quarter inch bigger and that's because you know we, we slid that front around so let's slide this back around and we'll get this back to let me zoom in a little bit get you a little more fine control 96 inches there and then let's drag this guy let's do a tape get this guy out of the way drag this guy make sure he yeah, okay we're 3 16 too much there so let's bring this down, we'll get this string, and we want to get down to 72, right there. All right, now let's do the same thing with this guy. So let's go grab our tape and come over here. Is this 72? Quarter high. So let's grab our string tool, zoom in, bring this down a quarter. Wait, this is a lot high, 72. that and let's add one more tape in here at this junction and this should be what this should be string this should be uh, 96 right yeah Let me zoom in get a little more your drag is related to how many pixels you're crossing. So if you zoom in, you get better. All right. There. Okay. Does not look right. Okay, let's adjust this. So this should be 72 again. And it's, you know, this is, this is the tedious part of this process is Let's add one more tape here so we can look at. Well, actually, I'll just grab this guy. Drag him down. Is he still? 
96 and a half. Let's get this guy lined up. So it should be 96. 16th off. There we go. How we doing? How we doing? We're doing pretty good. Let's get this back down to... There we go. All right. Let's see how we're doing now. So let's go back and let's measure our corners again. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It's all right. It's all right. That was the one I'm not supposed to touch, right? Okay, there. Nah, won't touch those. It'd be interesting to be able to lock these, wouldn't it? Okay, so. Still, 96 and 16th. Let's come back. There we go. How we doing? It's looking good, looking good. All right, let's grab our tapes. And let's bring this up here. It's good. 72. It's perfect. And we'll bring this one down here and look at, oh, no, that's not the one. All right, and then bring this one. Yeah. This looks good. All right, let's do our diagonals again. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this tape. It's easy to get too many tapes. And let's see how our diagonals are looking. 120, 3 sixteenths. Okay, let's try to get this nice and tight on this corner here. Come in here. It's that. 20 and 3 sixteenths. All right, what do we got over here now? Okay, 11 sixteenths. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and score this just to show you what it looks like. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, submit. So we've got a six foot by eight foot. Oh, look at that, we got 93 points. We're close, we're within a, a couple sixteenths. Oh, actually you can see here, um, corner D is perfect. We need to label these corners, but what you're seeing here is, here's where the corners should be. And uh, you can kind of see where the corners landed. So this one is not perfect. Um, over here, this one is also slightly out. And you can see which way you're out now. You can see, all right, and maybe we'll come in and we'll try to adjust these a little bit. Um, and then down here, oh, dude, look at that. We hit that pretty much dead on. So good job, good job, good job. Um, so we're almost square. Our, our sides are out by 3 8 I'm not sure what's acceptable in the real world. <clears throat> I'm sure that's dependent on your context. <laughs> but let's uh, let's try to tweak this and get this a little better. So I'm going to hit try again. Um, we know we're pretty confident on these two, but it's these two guys. So let's fix this. And the reason we know it's out is because these numbers, this 120 and 316, should be exactly the same as these. If you measure the cross the two diagonals of a square, if it's truly a square, you know, cornered rectangle, it should be the exact exact same values. So, just by looking at this, and actually, because we're using the 3, 4, 5 rule, I mean, because we're using a, a 6 by 8, it happens that the 3, 4, 5 rule works for this. You don't get, I mean, that's only because it's a, well, it's a simple, uh, 8 is divisible by 4 and 3 is divisible by 3. All of that to say, we know from that that we we need our diagonals to be 120. We can also look at this and see, all right, we are, what is this, 3 sixteenths shy of 120 on this side and 3 sixteenths greater than 120. And if you split the difference, that will also tell you what your diagonal should be if you figure out the difference, the the middle of the, the, the error. So we can do it two ways. So what we know is that, our angles need to be, uh, or our corners need to be 120. So, what does that tell us? Tells us this side is a little shy. It needs to be, let's get our tape measure. You can see it needs to be, 
around there. Mm -hmm. So, what can we do to get that to work? This is where um, experience comes in. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I could just brute force this guy and uh, bring this thing up. It's going to adjust the other side. And so that needs to be 120. Come over here and look at this. This is this is where it's fun. Okay, okay, I can see what needs to happen. You can imagine it. The this corner, this whole thing needs to be like racked. Uh, it needs to be racked to the left. Just a fuzz. Yeah, needs to be racked to the left. So this is our free side. So let's go ahead and get this down and get it racked up. Hey, there we go. So that one's good. And then let's kind of zoom out a little bit and we'll get this side to be perfect. There we go. So now this is crossing at 120 inches, just like we thought. Okay, now this is out a little more because you can see what we need to do here is bring this up. Oh, there's 120. And then let's bring this over 120. And this is out by a 16th. So let's bring this up to 120 there. All right, let's score that. Still off, 94 points. Um, but we're only off, we're off by a quarter there and a half inch there. Let's try it again. So we can keep trying this thing. Uh, okay, let's check some other measurements here. Uh, we might be square, but we might be like kind of squished in a way. So let's grab our tape measure tool, come over here and see where we're crossing this guy. And same with this guy over here. 3 sixteenths and 3 quarter, 72. Okay, let's try bringing this into square and seeing what happens next. So we'll bring this down to 72. And we'll bring this one down to 72 as well. Oops, wrong way. We go. All right, now let's go back and check our diagonals again. So let's go this way and this way and see how close we are to 120. Okay, now it looks like, so what I'm gonna do is I think, well, let's try this. We're gonna put this guy right Well, let's find out. Let's pull these guys apart. We want we want this one to be a we want that bottom one to be 120. Right there. Now I think what we can do then is let's grab this string. Move that one. Now what are we looking at over here? I think we're getting really close. Let's bring this guy over. Let's spread these apart a little bit so we can see him. Oh, we gotta grab our tape measure tool to do that. Wiggle our string, we're gonna come this way to 120. There we go. And oh yeah, let's check our, our side. So we're slightly off, but let's try to figure out which one we can move. So let's go back to our tape measure tool. That one's pretty dang good. This could come down. 16th so let's grab our string there we go 
That's pretty dang good. Now let's check. Let's add another tape going across this way. And we are a sixteenth off. So we need to go, one of these strings need to slide a sixteenth. Let's check the bottom real quick. Oh, those, that was perfect. Okay, so let's go back to our diagonals again. So let me get this guy out of the way. And let's put this one. Go back over here to our diagonals. How are we looking? Which one of these looks like it should be shifted? Oh, that one's pretty much dead on. And this one. I think. Boy, that one looks pretty dead on too. All right, let's see. I think though, if we do, what is this guy looking like? Oh, geez, that one's dead on. Let's grab a string and we'll bring it in like this. All right, I'm gonna score it. <gasps> hundred out of a hundred. So we got all of our corners perfect. So there's an example of using this to uh, lay out a square rectangle. <laughs> a square rectangle. Yeah, a rectangle with square corners. In this example, we did um, eight feet by six foot. All right. That was stop my video. <laughs> oh, there it is.